Hi! Welcome back to reality. Here's my channel. We're here. We're here together. This is my friend Kayla. And I'm so glad that she's with me today. Uh, we're going to talk about Arbon, which is a company that I don't know much about, but Kayla's going to inform us. Um, it started as skincare, right? Mm -hmm. And then it has transitioned, not transitioned out of skincare, but has added cosmetic products. And I think you guys have heard me say before that I trust cosmetic companies that start a skincare because they already care about what's going on our skin and inside our bodies. Um, and so that's incorporated into their makeup products, which is really sweet. So today we're just going to talk about Arbon. Kayla is a consultant for them. Uh, she's also my friend. So, yes. That works out really nicely that we get to hang out and film and talk about makeup and stuff at the mm -hmm. same time. Because we both like it. Mm -hmm. Here we go! Okay, so Kayla, what makes Arbonne different than other skincare or makeup companies? So Arbonne's slogan is pure, safe, and beneficial. So mm -hmm. their skincare, they've been around, first of all, for um, I think over 40 years. So they've had oh, okay. plenty of time to formulate and reformulate and test and ask real people mm. about their products and see how they're working. Mm -hmm. um, and they also are based out of Europe. So their, Ooh. their standards for what they put in there are much higher than in the States. They're like, a Whoa. Thousand, <laughs> <laughs> they're like a thousand chemicals um, that are okay to use in cosmetics in the U S that mm. are banned in Europe. So because of that, their standards are way higher mm -hmm. for what's in there, um, much safer and more natural for your skin. Mm, that sounds nice. Kayla, what personally are you excited about when it comes to using but also selling Arbon products? So using them, I just have struggled with acne forever, mm -hmm. and I really like that um, my old acne stuff used to bleach my sheets and towels and things like that, which was just totally annoying. Um, and this new stuff works, I think, even a little better than the mm. stuff that's specifically for acne. Mm. Um, and it's much gentler on my skin, and it also doesn't bleach my sheets. That's a plus. Yeah. She's newly married, so they got all sorts of new stuff. Can't have that stuff being bleached. Yeah, seriously. Nobody wants that! <laughs> and as far as selling Arbonne, mm. I just like that I get to travel and see my friends. <laughs> that's me. Like, I get to hang out and have a party mm -hmm. with you and say it's my job, so. <laughs> Oh, bummer. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, if that sounds like something you want to do, you should hit up this Arbonne business. <laughs> so, we've talked a little bit. We might be boring you, so we're going to jump into talking about some products now that you might get excited about. Kayla, what are some of your favorite products to use? Um, well, so I have my face wash that doesn't bleach my sheets. Mm. Um, is from this line, the FC5. It looks like this, even though this isn't actually the face wash, um, but it's their FC5 line, which is um, their fresh cell renewal technology. Cell like cells, not mm -hmm. cell like cell. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so okay, yeah, okay, <laughs> just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Make making it rain. it rain on your face. Yes, Because exactly. it's cleansed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep, <laughs> just that. <laughs> so I really like that, um, and I also really like that a little bit goes a really long way, so I only put like just a tiny teensy dab, mm -hmm. and I use it on my whole face and mm -hmm. neck, mm -hmm. and it gets it all. Good thing so you I don't really have like a very that. big face. <laughs> Fortunately for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your husband's a robot for that. <laughs> so this is the hydrating cream that goes along with that same line. Yes. FC5 is what yes. that line is called. Mm -hmm. Cool. So there's that, should I? Yeah, stick it up there. There it is, like all the YouTubers. <laughs> Take um, him away. Next! Um, here, let's do this one yeah. next. So this is the toner. And it's so pretty. Yes. I this like packaging it. is lovely. I know. I'm excited to get some more of their products just so I can, like, display them. Yeah. In, my bathroom. in your bathroom. <laughs> bathroom Have a, jewelry. a Pinterest bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so a cleanser will open up your pores and get all the junk out. Mm. And then a toner is what closes them back up so you don't put more junk into your pores. That sounds nice. Yeah. That sounds like something I need. Mm-hmm. And so, normally, toners you, like, put on a cotton ball and you dab on your face, mm. which is fine. But I really like that you spray this one on your face. So it's like... It's ch -ch -ch -ch. way easier. Okay. And you skip a step. Mm -hmm. And do you have to nice. rub it in at all, or do you mm -hmm. just spray it and leave you just it? Just spray once and... That sounds and nice. It. Sounds low maintenance. Yes. Sounds like something my viewers would like. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. There's that. 
Pretty orange and gold. Mm -hmm. Who knew orange and gold went well together? Yeah, I know. Next. Um, let's do... Okay. So this is the corrective eye cream. Oh, yeah. And it's just um, goes under your eyes. And usually um, under eye creams will like bleach it out to make it lighter. Oh, um, I didn't Or know do that. things like that. Oh. <laughs> Show them. It's, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this eye cream. <laughs> um, but this stuff will actually, it doesn't bleach, it moisturizes and it goes in and actually like corrects and oh, reduce okay. cool. rather than just like making it artificially lighter mm. under your eyes. Mm -hmm. So I really like that and I just really like, you just kind of get it on your mm, on yeah. your ring fingers and you dab it under your eyes. Do you I feel just, delicate? Yeah. I feel and like a princess. princess. <laughs> That's what all princesses do. Kate Middleton, <laughs> if you're watching, let us know. <laughs> Um, oh, she's a duchess. Oops. She doesn't do this then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Only princess. <sighs> Such a fool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, But it looks like a mini bottle of the toner. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They're, so this RE9 line is like their advanced, like, age renewal oh, okay, cool. type skincare line. It's all orange and gold like that. Mm, I so, like that. Matchy, matchy. So this is the makeup primer, which is... Wonderful. I'm, I'm actually, gonna buy this. Yeah, I want it yeah, you show to me. just try a little bit on your Is hand it clear? Right Ooh. Yeah, it's Ooh. clear. It's um, so soft. It kind of feels like butter. Mm hmm Like, it kind of feels like, you know, if you've let butter sitting out, and it's, like, kind of gooey, but it's not sticky, that's how this feels. Mm. I should the just way use it butter. Should be when you, so, like, if your <laughs> hand is toast, yeah, this is... This is buttered toast. This feels real soft, mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel oily. Yeah, it's like velvety. Yeah, like that's yeah. nice. I really like it, and like usually with primers, I just kind of put it on. And I'm like, I hope it's doing something. Yeah, you it's know, it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. But with this one, like I actually do. Like my face does look mm -hmm. a lot smoother after I've done my makeup. Yeah. so I like that. So those of you that don't know, primer goes on after moisturizer, but before foundation. Wow, my fingers feel so soft. If I didn't have makeup on, I would put it all over my face. Yes. Wouldn't want to start all over today. Yeah. That's don't tomorrow. Want to do That's, to <laughs> That's for tomorrow. And I don't know if you guys can see, uh, this is the one with primer on it. It kind of, it feels different, and in person, it looks different. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? It yeah. looks like kind of just shimmery. softer. Yeah. It just looks softer. Like, my hair's... I have the little hairs on your hands. I have those. Monkey hairs. Monkey <laughs> monkey hairs. I have them too. But, like, my skin looks better mm -hmm. under the hairs. <laughs> yeah. I like cool. That. So you like the primer a lot? Yes. So there's that. I'm going to get that later today. That'll be from mm -hmm. me. Um, and mm -hmm. if you want to put this oh. on yes. over your primer. <gasps> it's like a little face. Uh, that might even be too much. That's okay. Over your hand. But, that's okay. Um, that's the CC cream. So it's like a BB cream but um, with nourishing okay. ingredients. And okay. I don't know exactly what This is definitely not my skin tone, but it feels really soft mm -hmm. with the primer on it. Yeah, this is a medium, so. Yeah. You probably use Super like... not me. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Yeah. But I like it because. It does feel so good. Sometimes I don't like to get my brush out and like try yeah. and get my foundation all smooth all over I my hate face. that. So just like kind of throwing it on with my fingers yeah. feels nice. And so yeah. I like this. So it's like a CC cream, but it's still. Like, yeah. it has good coverage. It has great coverage, mm -hmm. but it's blending really nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure the primer helps, but it doesn't feel sticky or gooey. It feels like a lotion consistency, so it feels, and it doesn't feel dry on my skin. Mm -hmm. Great. You look tan. I look tan in this spot. <laughs> I went tanning here. Last but not least, mascara. Everybody's favorite. This is a teensy tiny little tube because it's just a tester. I love that it says, what does it say on it? It's a long story. It's a long story. Mascara. <laughs> Which is so fun, because, like, long, you want long, I just think yeah. it's funny. Do you want to yes. try it out? Pull yeah. It and see. I'm going to get a mirror. Okay, I'm going to try this on right in front of your eyes. Keep in mind, I already have makeup on, so this isn't, like, crazy accurate. But let's, let's see. Wow, my makeup does look nice. Whoa. This... A uh, spoolie is rugged. And mm -hmm. you can tell a difference. Yeah. And I already have mascara on, so it's even helping. Mm -hmm. The spoolie is really nice. It's it's yeah. like uh, silicone for... They're not natural bristles, but um, 
they really grabbed my hairs. Ooh, and it doesn't smell weird. I'm a fan of that. Mm-hmm. Cool. The, um, Ooh, and it's flexible. The spoolie in the actual bottle is even a little bit better than that one, but it is really? kind of that same idea. Mm. Like It's like an optical illusion. It also looks like a torture device, uh, <laughs> but it's not. Fortunately. Fortunately. Arbonne isn't selling torture devices yet. Don't, th- probably never. Don't sue me, Arbonne. <laughs> cool. That's it. Those are your favorite products? Those are my faves. Your favesies. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Kayla. And here's the catalog. Um, a lot of their packaging is really gorgeous, but also this catalog is lovely. And it's thick and hefty. Um, you can also find their products online. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just put that link down below. But also, Kayla is a consultant. Um, so either if you want to buy something from Arbon, or if you want to try out any of these products that we tested today or talked about, or if you wanted to host a party or whatever, uh, you have a consultant. You can go right to. Perf! I'm assuming a lot of you watching are in my Colorado area uh, or the South Dakota area, one of the two. And she's right in the middle of those two places. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty great. Yeah. Keep it real. Later. <laughs>